Hi, this is Will here with Drones Made Easy. Uh, this is going to be a video about how to swap out uh, a ribbon or flex cable on your Phantom 3 uh, camera gimbal. And for this repair, you are going to need a double zero Phillips T6 torque driver, Q-tip or cotton swab, tweezers, and snippers. First, you're going to take the snippers and remove the discs off of your anti-drop pins. Then you're going to remove the camera gimbal from the rubber dampers. Carefully remove the wires from the bottom of the camera gimbal. Use the double zero Phillips and remove the four screws from the base of the camera gimbal. During this entire repair, make sure you keep your hardware very organized. It will help you as you reassemble the camera gimbal. Remove the base covers. Carefully open the switches on the gimbal mainboard to release the flex cable. Use the T6 torque driver to remove the hardware from the back of the camera. And again, make sure you keep your hardware very organized. Use tweezers to remove the back panel on the camera and then unlock the switch on the camera mainboard. Use the double zero Phillips to remove the hardware from the gimbal collar. At this point you can remove the damaged flex cable from the camera gimbal. While removing the flex cable, take note of how it weaves throughout the entire gimbal. Now we are ready to insert our new flex cable. Start by inserting the end of the flex cable with the adhesive side down towards the motor arm into the back of the camera gimbal. Use the cotton swab to press the adhesive to the motor arm. Make sure it gets a secure bind. Now take the flex cable and wrap it one full time around the motor arm before adhering it to its next contact point. Carefully adhere the flex cable to the next contact point using the gimbal shape as a guide. This is a bit of a shortcut where you can actually press the flex cable into its connection point on this motor arm. Bring the flex cable through the gimbal so the tilt motor is facing you and again adhere the flex cable following the path of the gimbal. And again, use the Q-tip to make sure that you have a good solid bind with the flex cable and the gimbal. Again, using the shortcut, press the end of the flex cable carefully into the connection point on this motor arm. Now insert the ends of the flex cable carefully into the connection points on the base of the gimbal. Don't forget to make sure that they are fully inserted and that you close the switches. Again, when using the tweezers, be very careful that you don't damage the flex cable in any way. When putting the gimbal base plate back on, identify the right angle of the flex cable and the hole that it is meant to go in, and then adhere the flex cable to the base plate once it is on properly. Carefully insert the rear portion of the base plate under the yaw arm.
and with the double zero Phillips, reinsert your hardware. Replace the back plate on the camera and reinsert the hardware using the T6 torque driver. Finally, again using the double zero Phillips, put the flex cable collar back on the gimbal. Now it is time to put your camera gimbal back on your Phantom 3. Insert your cables, apply the rubber dampers, and don't forget to put on new anti-drop pins. Last, power your Phantom and hopefully everything goes well. Congratulations, you just did a pro level repair. From us here at Drones Made Easy, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and for the best customer service in the industry, please hit up our web store at www.dronesmadeeasy.com. Thanks a lot. Drones made easy.